All right, so before we go any further, um, I should have done this earlier, but uh, let's go ahead and get this battery charging. So the way the battery charger works is you have um, you have a US plug. Sorry, the occasional European customer. You can, um, but it's 220, apparently it is advertised as being able to handle 220, 240, I believe, with AC. So you just need the right kind of adapter and it should work. So you get this out. Unfold it, find a plug for it. So it's gonna be over here in my pile of stuff. Okay. We got plugged, plug this in. All right, so we get three greenies. And then you take this plug, this is the charge plug, and there's two places you can plug. There's one for a three cell pack and for a two cell pack. These are two cell packs. So we plug it in here. It can only go one way, don't force it. All right, that goes in real easy. And you can see two of these go red. And when they turn green, the pack is charged. Okay, this will take on a dead battery um, uh, about two hours because this is a uh, 500 milliamp charger and this is 1.8 amp hours or 1800 milliamp hours. So it'll take two hours or so, a little more to charge from a completely depleted battery. Um, these aren't completely depleted batteries. They ship typically at 70% charge. So this won't be, that won't be that big a deal. And if you didn't put it on charge right away, you know, you can run the motor a little bit, but don't go fly this a bunch until it's fully charged. All right, it should, it should take less than an hour to fully charge. All right, so that's over here charging safely. Um, another point about uh, charging is that these batteries can explode. Um, it's very rare nowadays, but there've been a lot of fires and, and cars burned down and houses burned down because these, these uh, batteries get char uh, plugged in the wrong kind of charger or they get punctured, the outside gets punctured. So if I put this knife through this right now, it would catch fire I mean, it would oxidize and send up a lot of smoke and can start other fires. Um, the fires aren't that bad in and of themselves. It's what they catch on fire. They're really smoky and scary looking. Um, just get away from them. Um, I don't think, you know, water helps, but, you know, they do burn themselves out. Um, and, you know, just sort of watch it. Uh, I wouldn't do anything um, like touching it or anything like that. Um, a great thing to do is have a charging um, receptacle that will uh, keep you from um, having problems. I use from my lovely niece she made me sort of towel like brooklyn aerodrome bowl of ceramic and the ceramic and i'll put the batteries in there and charge in there so if that catches on fire it's gonna be really messy smoky stinky but it's not gonna catch anything around it on fire so all that all that energy is going to go up obviously don't put it underneath something that's going to catch fire if it's got a you know a two-foot flame coming out the top all right so that's the safety lesson of that